Over the weekend, the president tweeted, quote, Democrats are smiling in D.C. that the Freedom Caucus, with the help of Club for Growth and Heritage, have saved Planned Parenthood and Obamacare. Okay, joining us with reaction, former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski and Fox News correspondent at large, Geraldo Rivera. Um, Geraldo, first of all, I think this is going to get done. That's my strong belief here. The second thing is, I, I, have, I just see, I have a different take than the White House at this point. And that is, and, and there's plenty of blame to go around. Nobody, not one person, Geraldo, saw that bill that was being scored in the CBO until they released it. There was no consensus bill that everybody supported. You have different factions in the Republican and Democratic Party. You got moderates, you got the Tuesday group, the Sunday group, the Wednesday group, the, you know, the study group, the Freedom Caucus. These groups didn't see it beforehand. And then right after it's released, it started, they started fighting each other on TV. This should have been built behind the scenes. They had eight long years to do it, Geraldo. I blame the leadership I, I on agree. a bad rollout I agree, here. Sean. Okay, I agree with that last point. They had eight years, uh, damn it. They should have gotten this done. Right. But you are the most prominent conservative commentator in our country, Sean. Oh, boy, come and on. And you have to, you have to, no, you have to cop to the fact that this so-called Freedom Caucus, they have, they have a three-word slogan, just say no. They were not going to go along with this president no matter what this bill contained. They stabbed him in the back. Uh, they had a chance here where the, uh, where the, uh, Geraldo, uh, the let me Republican, say this. the Republican, Speaker of the House and and everybody uh, in the Trump administration, the President of the United States, invested in a compromise that was going to save the uh, federal deficit to the tune of a quarter of a trillion dollars over time. Uh, they they were fighting uh, for those who had cut off, uh, you know, the Obamacare uh, 24 million, but still they were saving money. They had a reasonable compromise. The Freedom Caucus would not have All gone right, along Geraldo, with anything. Nobody, that rights is right. People. No bill is going to be perfect. Nobody gets everything they want. But I, I, I'll, I'll say this to you, and I'll bring Corey in here as well. Had they built the consensus, Corey, before they rolled out the bill, they would have known the votes that they had. And as hard as, and by the way, the president gets all the credit. He did compromise. He tried to, you know, he'd do something for the Freedom Caucus, then the moderates would leave. Then the, he'd do something for the moderates, the Freedom Caucus would leave. This should have been handled by the speaker. This should have been handled by leadership. The president did way too much heavy lifting on this bill. He's the executive branch, they're the legislative branch. Corey. Sean, the House leadership f failed to get this bill done, and they should have never had an artificial deadline to get this bill accomplished when it wasn't necessary to be done in the first 60 days. And I understand the budget reconciliation process, but I also understand that they could, they were, you know, they were concerned what the Senate was going to do before they get the House bill done. What should have been done is behind the scenes, as you've mentioned, you bring members in from the House Freedom Caucus, the Tuesday Group, the Republican Study Committee, the Heritage Foundation, all of the stakeholders who are going to look at this bill before it's released, compromise behind the scenes. There's always going to be additional compromise needed. But if you can have a base framework behind the scenes before the bill is introduced to everybody, then that's the way to go. Look, you can take Marco Rubio for his word or not. When it came to the Gang of Eight, he spent countless hours going around and talking about his legislation before it was ever introduced. Now, the bill was ultimately a failure, but he did the right thing by trying to get those groups on board Listen, first we, so we could get some get support. Done. I, I am convinced. But I, Geraldo, all I'm saying is, you know, why did you set, why did they set themselves up by keeping it hidden, not sharing it with any of the coalition, releasing it, creating a public civil war and a public fight, when it should have been handled behind closed doors, those compromises could have been made, and I suggest probably this is the way it'll happen from here on in. Look, you cannot blame people if they have strong principles. Nobody wants this repeal and replace more than I do. I want the win for the president. He worked hard for this, and he'll get it, but I just think, I, I just you got to hand you got to have the leadership handle it better. I absolutely disagree, Sean. I think that the Freedom Shocking. Caucus would not have gone along with any would not have gone along with any compromise whatsoever that involved giving something for free to poor people. They are the they are the yeah, just say it, it, that's no ridiculous. caucus. They when you see a Freedom Caucus of... member, like what what has the Freedom Caucus done but said no? They voted 50 times to repeal or more. It's to meaningless repeal if you don't pass it. And then eight years that's eight right. years later, where are they now? Just now they have to say no to a Republican president. I am what convinced do you think John this Boehner could be quit. Uh, These Sean Hannity saying this.